The integral is usually called the antiderivative, because integrating is the reverse process of differentiating. However, the integration method was developed not only to find the inverse process of taking the derivative, but trying to solve the area and distance problem among other applications. At first glance, as the process of differentiation is used to find the slope at any point on the graph, the process of integration can be used to find the area under the curve. Today, we begin with chapter 4, integration. 4.1 indefinite integral and simple differential equation. The integration is the process opposite to the derivative. So, if we have a function in x, the derivative will be f prime in x. Now, if we want to get the function coming from the derivative, first of all we use this symbol and we integrate that function, the derivative, in order to get the antiderivative which is used to be represented with capital letter. These two elements are the same. This is the notation. As you can see, it represents it represent a differential equation. Because the reality is that if we have df in x, dx, which is equal to f in x prime, simple what we are doing is multiplying both parts of the equation by dx by dx, writing the integral symbols dx cancels dx, the integral symbol cancels the derivative because they are opposite. So final result will be f in x equals to integral of fx dx. So this is some kind of artistic representation of the operation. The general rule for the integration is exactly the opposite rule to the power rule. So let's consider that we have a function k times x to the n power. The integral of that function will be so k, k is, is a constant we can rewrite this way which will be equal to x to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So this is the, the, the general power rule, both for the case of the antiderivative process. Equivalently, follow the last two derivatives we developed for the exponential and logarithmic functions, the integral of 1 over x dx will be equals to 
natural logarithm of x. And the integral of e to the x dx will be equal to e to the x. But if you write this way, this will be a mistake. We have to write one more element plus c, plus a constant. plus c plus c now they are perfect solution why plus c let's review this element using one example so let's see the the problem of the constant the easy way to understand why the solution of the integral, indefinite integral, requires a constant, is, is a graphic illustration. What, for example, the two points that we have, the function y equals to x squared. So it will be something like this approximately but now let's see the second function y equals to x squared plus 2 so 1 2 will be approximately a function like this with a precision that I can work on the board and finally one more y equals to x squared plus 4. Somewhere here we have our next equation. Now I will search for, for the derivative of a function in, in some point, somewhere here we have three functions, it's the same parabola, but in three different positions. The, the derivative of these three functions, for example, at x equals to 1, will be the slope of the tangent line in this point. So for the first equation, number 1, will be a line approximately like this. For the second one will be the slope of the line approximately like this and for the third one will be the slope of the line approximately like this as you can see these three lines one two and three are parallel lines are parallel lines so the slope m one is equal to m2 is equal to m3 the slope is the same the derivative if we consider that this is y1 y2 and y3 the derivative of y1 is equal to the derivative of y2 is equal to the derivative of y3 so in order to differentiate, in order to identify correctly, we need a constant. If we are integrating the function 2x dx, the solution will be x squared, 2 is a constant, goes outside, divided by 2. But x squared is only the black color function. And we have the same result, the same result, the same derivative in these three equations. So the correct solution will be 
plus C. Now, this equation represent this one. Represent the real value of the equation of the function whose derivative is that one, 2x. Now, let's solve some classic examples from the notebook. For the first one, find the integral of x squared dx. The second, 3 over x dx. The next one, e to 3 x dx. On the first case, applying the, the power rule, the, the opposite to the power rule, when we get the, the, the derivative, we have here x to the third divided by 3 plus the constant. We finish. Very easy, very fast. Here, you know that 1 over x is the derivative of the natural logarithm of x. So 3 goes outside because this is a constant. The solution will be ln of x plus a constant. The exponential function, exactly the same. Because when taking the derivative, we multiply by 3 using chain rule. So now we divide by 3. So 1 over 3 e to the 3x plus a constant. So in this way, we repeat what we know, but in opposite direction. Now let's see one polynomial like this. So the integral of 4x squared plus 2x minus 3. We can apply here one of the property of the integrals. The property says that the integral of the sum will be sum of the integrals. The solution will be 4x cubed divided by 3 plus 2x squared divided by 2 minus 3x plus c. Note, if we are solving three integrals, the reality is that we have 1c here plus c1. Here we have plus c2. Here we have plus c3. But the reality is that all of them are constant. All of them are constant. So c1 plus c2 plus c3 is the new one we named before c. You saw some examples, now easier to visualize the properties of the integration when using multiple components. So f in x plus g in x dx. So the final integral of this combination will be integral of f in x dx plus the integral of gx dx. If we have plus, we add. If we have minus, we subtract. Another property that you, you saw how it works before is the situation with the constant. If we have a constant times some function, the integral of this combination will be k times the integral of the function dx. So the integral is transparent for the constant. The constant goes out. Let's see now one a little more advanced property of the integrals. The integration by substitution. Don't forget to do the homework you have about 
30 example contact me in my virtual office if any question when solving all these examples some of them some of them are directed to the business application so the, the integration by substitution can be represented by this way we we can consider that we have opposite operation to the derivative using the chain rule. The, the easier way to visualize this property is by solving an example. Let's do from page 132 on the notebook. Evaluate the following integral. Integral of 2x times x squared plus 9 to the fifth power dx. As, as you can understand, we, we can apply here the property of addition if we expand this polynomial and later we multiply each element by 2x, I will have from here 5 times 2, 10, so 11 elements. I will have to add some integrals to get final result. But this is very complicated for this reason was developed the integration by substitution. I can consider in this case that we have a function u, a function in u, that one. So let me let me write that the function in u can be equals to x squared plus nine. So I have here u to the five power. Now, as you can understand, if I am working with x, the differential has to be dx. But if I am working with u, the differential has to be the u. Correct? Very simple. Why? Because if I have a function like this, y, x, and let's consider u fictitious example when having a function somewhere here and i am taking the integral or the derivative to approach some point i use dx when the function is given as the function of x but if the function is given as the function of y as, as a function of u, so in this case, I, I take my delta from the axis u as well as I took before my delta from the axis dx. And of course, because, because there is some discipline, u is not anyone, u is equal to x2 plus 9, so I have to respect exactly this new delta. And this new delta, the u coming from here, the u will be 2x plus 0. This is the u, this is u. So, as you can see, if I collect this term, 2x, the u is exactly the u. So I can write y, u to the 5, the u integral, which is equal to, to what? Is equal to, look, u to the 6, divided by 6, plus a constant, which is equal to, I go back now, by replacing the real value of u is equal to 
x to the 2 plus 9 to the 6 power divided by 6 plus 6. As you can see, this is our final answer. Let's solve one example applying substitution method. Given such large integral, here we have two polynomials. If we consider that the first part is the function u, then u will be 3x2 plus 8x. As you can see, partially we have something here, something like this. If we represent it by this way, integral of x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6 times, I will use two elements. I will use 6x2 plus 16x plus 1, all of them, all of them inside the integral, all of them inside the integral. So now I have two basic components of the integral. The first one, integral of x cubed plus 4 x2 minus 6 times. Right now I will factor this binomial to approach the differential I need. So 2 times 3 x2 plus 8x. No, it's not to approach, it's to get exactly what we need. So this is times 3 x2 plus 8 x times 2 dx. Okay? These two, I am writing it near to the dx. Plus, plus we have here 1 times, oh, we have a, a, a group of integral, we have here x cubed dx plus integral of 4x2 minus integral of 6 dx. Here the integration goes for x. So it, they cancel the solution here is 6x. Here we apply the opposite to the power rule. So this is 4x cubed divided by 3. And here also the opposite to the power rule plus x to the 4 divided by 4. So we have the, the solution of, of the second part. Now let's see the first part, the first integral. We have here u function. And we have here our du. So we don't need these two, these two goes out right now to facilitate the work. We can raise it and write it here, two. So finally we have two integral of u du which is equal to 2 times u squared divided by 2 plus c. I am not using c still, which can be written as this polynomial x3 plus 4x squared minus 6 squared cancels 2 and we get u squared, which is x3 plus 4x2 minus 6 squared. And now we add all these integrals coming from here, from here, from here, from here. We have a constant and all these constants together plus c. Uh, this is the final solution of our question. So I 
I hope that you learn how to apply the substitution, the, the method of the integration by substitution. You have also business examples applying the method. A, a group of examples, please uh, work with this example and contact me in my virtual office if any question. Thank you. The end of the lecture 22. See you in the next, lecture 23, about Riemann integration and fundamental theorem of calculus. Don't forget that I will dedicate one lecture to review any exercise requiring some help from me. Please email me to create the plan of this special lecture.